Hello, here we are in the Appalachian Mountain Range in between Western North Carolina and Eastern Tennessee. Here we have such a beautiful area, rich in culture and beauty, yet we have many health disparities that need to be addressed. As a nurse practitioner student and future provider of health care, it is important to know the patient population in which we are working with. This presentation will focus on the women, women of Appalachia and their disparities that they face. Here in these Appalachian Mountains, there are many things that can contribute to health disparities, including the geographic location. We're in the mountains. It's hard to get to doctors. It's hard to get doctors and providers um, to be in this, this area because of location. You can be remote. Um, so access to care is um, a problem that we see in this area. Within that access to care, there's also health disparities that um, are caused by low income. There's not a lot of jobs available or they're seasonal jobs. So those factors can affect one's access to care and to health care. Now the disparities that we talked about within this community of Appalachia include low income and unemployment with a high incidence of chronic diseases, including cancer. This low income puts the population at risk for decreased access to care. Now there's many people in Appalachia that do have insurance, but they're not able to uh, pay their deductible due to their low income, or they simply just do not have insurance. This lack of insurance um, and financial stress leads to poorer health outcomes. As a nurse practitioner, it is important to know the struggles that the population you're caring for are facing. The human papillomavirus virus, HPV, accounts for 91% of all cervical cancers. Current studies show have shown major strides in the HPV and new vaccines are now covering more and more types of HPV, leading to a decrease in cervical cancers nationwide. Yet, in Appalachia, we're not seeing the same drop in cervical cancers as the rest of the nation. The women of Appalachia can be forgotten and lost among the population uh, where we need to focus on uh, gaining access to care, screenings, specifically for cervical cancer. We have many ways to um, treat cervical cancer now with the HPV vaccine, but in this geographical region of Appalachia, we have a low um, rate of immunization, but we also have a high rate of cervical cancers. There is a high incidence of cervical cancer with high mortality of cervical cancer in women in Appalachia. In West Virginia alone, the only state with its entirety in Appalachia, the rate of cervical cancer is 9 in every 100,000. Now that's compared to the national average, which is 7.5 to every 100,000. It is also important to note that with this higher incidence of cervical cancer in Appalachia, the rates of HPV vaccine for adolescents are 39%. Now compare that to the national average of 49%. The effects of the HPV vaccination are already being seen. Since 2007, when the vaccine was introduced, there's been a 29% decrease in invasive cervical cancer. Research suggests that there's an increased risk of rural women for developing invasive cervical cancer if they have not had a pap, pap smear in five years. The most common risk for invasive cervical cancer is a deficiency in screening. The American Cancer Society reported that of newly diagnosed with invasive cervical cancer, 60 to 80 percent had not received a pap test in the previous five years. Now with this population of women having poor access to care, this puts them at higher risk. It's important to know these facts when caring for this population of women in Appalachia.